One for Amy. One for Lulu. One for Morgan. And, and two, two for us. us. Look there, B2. It's a little possum, B1. Hello, possum. <coughs> oh, sorry we woke you. We're picking apples for our story time tonight. The teddies and rat are coming over and reading us a story. Hang on, Possum! Don't let go! Oh, sorry about that, Possum. We'll be more careful next time. <laughs> you want to know about tonight? And what story we'll have? Uh, we don't know yet, but it's probably got elves and fairies in it. And gnomes and goblins. It'll be Jama Rama! <laughs> we better get going. We have to get everything ready. Oh, sorry, B2. No problem, B1. Bye, Possum. That should do it, B2. Everything's ready for story night, B1. Some fruit and some juice. And the story for Lulu to read. Pixies. Elves. Gnomes. <gasps> Goblins! Oh, that must be the teddies now. And Rat! Hi, everyone. Uh, hello? I'm sure someone knocked B2. But no one's here, B1. The back door. We're at the wrong door, B1. Let's go. Uh, B2? B1! Why are you out there? You shut me out, B2. Oh, sorry, B1. After you, B1. <laughs> Thanks, B2. Hello! Uh, hello? No one's here either, B1. This is very strange, B2. I'm sure someone was knocking. Knocking? Just like that? Oh, the knocking is upstairs, B2. Oof! Now it's coming from that wall. It's moving all through the house. I think we should move too. What a commotion! What's up, bananas? <laughs> Inside! N -n knocking Knocking? N -n -n knocking Oh, we do need a little more explanation than that, Bananas. <laughs> There's lots of knocking inside our home. But, but, but we don't know what's making it. Or who's making it. How extraordinary. We'd better hear this knocking for ourselves. We'll find out what it is. A fabulous idea. Let's all go in and discover what these noises are about. Lead on, Rat! Um, uh, why don't you go first, Teddies? I just need to... to, to polish my shoe. Oh, this Rat is not interested in strange noises. Not interested at all. Rat, where are you going? Come on, we're all waiting for you. Oh, cheese and whiskers. There's no noise in the kitchen, Bananas. And there's no sound from inside the wall. And I couldn't hear any strange sounds from upstairs. Excellent! I knew it was a lot to fuss about nothing at all. But there is scratching. Scratching? And there's the knocking. Knocking? Now do you believe us? We do, Bananas. Look! <laughs> This rat is out of here! This is silly. We shouldn't be scared of a few little noises. But what's making them? And why? Well, if you ask this rat, and I'm sure you were just about to, I'd say it could only be one thing. What thing, rat? You must have a spooky in your house. A spooky? What else could it be? Uh, uh, but there's no such thing as spookies. How do you know? 
Well, because... Uh, uh, because... Uh, Lulu? Spookies only exist in stories. That's why. Have you ever seen a spooky rat? Uh, no. They only come out at night. Only when they think you're asleep. These spookies sound a bit naughty, B2. <gasps> Very naughty, B1. All right, Rat. If you're right, we know what to do then. We'll stay the night with the bananas. You will? And see who's really making these noises. Spookies or no spookies. I, I suppose you want me to stay too? You are the spooky expert, Rat. <laughs> so I am. Oh, oh, double cheese and whiskers. This is great, B2. First we discover a mystery knocker and scratcher. And now we have all our friends coming for a sleepover. pajama -rific! Isn't this fun? It's just like camping, but inside. And since we came back, we haven't heard a thing. If there were spookies, they must have left. But what do you think, spooky expert? Uh, well, uh, spookies are very tricky, you know. They might just be having a bath or eating dinner. Or maybe they're not even real. Or not even. Of course they're real. They're probably sleeping, that's all. <sighs> uh, sleep. That's a good idea. I'm with you, Morgan. We're two tired bananas. Ready for bed. I'll turn the lights off. Uh, leave the lamp on, Morgan. Uh, uh, just in case the spooky wakes up. Good thinking, Rat. Then we'll see it. <sighs> I'm sorry we didn't read the story tonight, Bananas. That's all right, Lulu. It's great to have you all staying with us. Nighty night, everyone. Good night! Sometimes when we've said good night And the hands turned out the light On the wall we see the features Of some sneaky spooky creatures But we know we can feel that they're not really, really real Oh, silly shadows in the dark Go and play out in the park Cause you won't trick us No big surprises And you won't be there When we open our eyes So silly shadows in the dark Go away, you're not real I see it! I see it! What is it? What do you see? A spooky! Uh, that's not a spooky rat. That's the shadow of the curtains. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> so it is. I saw shadows. Me too. But they were just shadows. They weren't spookies. We see spookies. Two of them. Where? There! <laughs> They're no spookies. They're bananas. Bananas? It is us. <laughs> you thought you saw spookies. But it was just your imagination. <laughs> so it was. Lucky you turned on the lights, Morgan. Uh, but I didn't turn on the light. But if you didn't turn on the light... Who did? Spooky! <laughs> it's locked! Oh, where's the key, Bananas? We've got the key. Then give it to me! Ah, uh, we've lost the key! Spooky! <laughs> What's happening? Who's doing it? The spookies are squeaking! What sort of spooks squeaks? <laughs> that squeaking, B1. We know that squeaking, B2. Are you thinking what I'm thinking, B1? I think I am, B2. It's, it's ladder time! time. Be careful, bananas. Oh, cheese and whiskers. Oh, what if they do find a spooky? 
What do you see, bananas? Any spookies? No, but we do see a friend. <laughs> a possum? All those noises were made by our possum friend. Why did she do that? She came into our roof so she could listen to our story tonight. But she got herself trapped and she was trying to tell us so we could rescue her. <laughs> she says thank you for your help. I knew there was a good explanation for all those strange sounds. You see, Rat? <laughs> of course I see. I knew all along that it wasn't a spooky. Really? <laughs> oh, yes. This rat is far too smart to worry about silly things like spookies. <laughs> spookies? <laughs> Who'd believe in such things? Not me. <laughs> Spooky! Help! Help! Oh, my silly rat in the hat! When did Morgan say they'd be ready, B2? Right about now, B1. It's muffin time! Morgan's making muffins for everyone because everyone loves them. The muffins! We know about the muffins, Morgan. That's why we're here. The muffins are missing. Missing? I put the muffins out on the table to cool. Then I went to my room and when I came back, the muffins were gone. Gone? I know one thing about muffins. They don't have legs. Do you think someone took them? Someone in Cuddles Town? Look. Ooh. Someone left their footprints. Whose could they be? They might lead to the missing muffins. Follow the footprints. Let's go, B2. Going, B1. <laughs> Follow me! Follow, Follow him! <laughs> this way! Right, right behind, behind you, Morgan! These tracks head for the farm. The farm? With our farm friends! And look at his feet! Oh, no! Huh? Oh, what? Do you know anything, Pedro? Tell us if you do! No, uh, what? What are you talking about? The muffins! Muffins? What muffins? So what happened exactly, Pedro? You said to come over to have a muffin, Morgan, so... I came over. Then you did come into the kitchen. That's how you left the footprints. But I didn't see any muffins. You mean they were already missing? That's right. You have to believe me. We believe you, Pedro. Because you're our friend. Aren't you forgetting something, Bananas? What? The pie. Remember the time you baked a pie and Pedro snitched it? That's right. He ate the lot. Hmm. We did forget that. OK. I admit, I did once take your pie, but I didn't take any muffins. I promise. OK, Pedro, we believe you. If you didn't see the muffins... You didn't see them, but we still have no muffins. How did they go missing? Do you think the teddies really believe me? Of course they believe you, Pedro. Just like we believe you. Oh, if only someone could find those missing muffins. Are you thinking what I'm thinking, B2? I think I am, B1. It's, it's Detective, Detective Bananas time! 
We have to solve this mystery, B2. And to solve a mystery... You need clues. Clues. What sort of clues? Hmm... Crumbs! Crumbs. Crumbs. No crumbs here, B1. And no crumbs here, B2. There must be some crumbs somewhere, B2. Then let's find them! Look for signs Look for clues Stay alert for any news Be on guard Ears to the ground And listen hard for any sound Banana detectives, banana detectives We're on the trail, hot on the track Banana detectives, banana detectives Whatever the mystery, it'll soon be history Banana detectives, banana detectives No case too hard to crack Soft of tread, shh Soft of voice Creep along and make no noise Sneak about Stay in disguise And never ever get caught by surprise Banana detectives, banana detectives We're on the trail, hot on the track Banana detectives, banana detectives Whatever the mystery It'll soon be history Banana detectives, banana detectives No case too hard to crack No case too hard to crack No crumbs anywhere, B2 Hmm, what should we do, B1? We should ask everyone a question Right, uh, what question? Where were they when the muffins went missing? Where was I? When the muffin disappeared. Do you have any clues? Well, uh, I was in Rat's shop when the muffins went missing. I don't have any clues. Uh, what are you doing? Looking for crumbs. Hmm, no crumbs, B1. Then we'd better check out Lulu. When the muffins went missing, I was outside in the garden. You didn't see anything, Lulu? You don't have any clues? I'm sorry, but I didn't see anything and I don't have any clues. Hmm. Hmm. No crumbs. Me? Sorry, Morgan. We have to check everybody. They were my muffins, Bananas. If I knew why they were missing, they wouldn't be missing. That's a good point, Morgan. So you don't have any clues? Any clues at all? I don't have a single clue. Crumbs. Crumbs. Crumbs! Crumbs? Oh, they're crumbs from the toasted cheese sandwich I had for lunch. Mmm, toasty. Cheesy. Definitely not muffin crumbs. Mm. We're sorry, Pedro. We can't find any clues. With no clues, we can't solve the mystery. Oh, you did what you could, Bananas. Thanks for trying. And thanks for believing me. <laughs> Hi, Detective Bananas. How's the detective work going? Not very well, Lulu. We haven't found any clues. We don't know how the muffins went missing. Hmm. Well, did you ask Morgan to act out what he did when he made the muffins? Did we do that, B2? Uh, no, I don't think we did, B1. Maybe you can find out something new there.
that way. Great idea, Lulu. We'll ask Morgan to do that right now. Wait for us! Show us what happened, Morgan. Right from the start. Which is the best place to start? I mix the muffins up, put them on a tray, and put the tray in the oven. What did you do then? Don't leave anything out. Hmm, the muffins baked, and when they were ready, I took them out and put them on the table. And then? I, I, I made some icing for the muffins. I went to the cupboard to get some sugar. See, this sugar right here. I forgot to put it back. Huh? Ah, oh, the muffins! <gasps> the missing muffin mystery is solved! Because the muffins aren't really missing! But I... what did I do? I think we know. You took the sugar out of the cupboard. When you did that, you put the muffins into the cupboard. Then you went to your room and forgot what you did. That's when Pedro came into the kitchen. He looked all over, but there were no muffins. Then he left, just like he said. Just like we believed him. I feel terrible. I didn't really believe Pedro when he said he didn't know anything. You can make it up to Pedro. And you can do it right now. I will. Will you forgive me for not believing you, Pedro? No problem, Morgan. Thanks, Pedro. And thanks to the bananas for solving the mystery. It was nothing, Pedro. Nothing that good detective bananas wouldn't do. Give Pedro his surprise, Morgan. I am. I am. We've got you a present, Pedro. Fresh muffins. And they're all yours. Muffins? Oh, my favourite. Fantastic. Oh, thanks, Teddies. Another mystery solved, B2. By the Detective Bananas, B1. Oh, Bananas! some water for you, little flower. And some for you, big flower. Oh, wait a minute, B1. I already watered that big flower. We've got so many flowers, we can't tell which is which. Are you thinking what I'm thinking, B2? I think I am, B1. It's, it's give away some flowers time. Put it here, B1. That's the perfect spot, B2. Cheese and whiskers, what are you doing down there, bananas? We brought you a gift. Look. Oh, what a lovely flower. It really brightens up my shop. And you just need to water it once a day. I'll do that right now, bananas. Bye. Oh, my goodness, Rhett. That's a magnificent plant. It is rather nice, isn't it, Bernard? I just wish I had some of your gardening talent. <laughs> oh, no, Bernard. It's a gift. I know, Rat. A, a talent like that is a gift. <laughs> no, what I meant was... Rat, could you give me some advice on how to brighten up my garden? But, Bernard, I... Well, why don't you uh, come around for honey cakes and we can talk about it then? Honey cakes? Uh, well, I suppose I could give you a few ideas. Uh, another honey cake, Rat? <laughs> well, if you insist. Uh, now, um, what do you think my garden needs, Rat? Oh, uh, yes, yes, yes. L let me think. Ah, I've got it, Bernard. A fountain. A fountain? Uh, are you sure, Rat? Oh, oh, yes. It'll look like a picture. Something like this. Hmm. Well, uh, who will I get to build this fountain? Uh, would you do it? <laughs> oh, no, Bernard. I wouldn't know the first thing about it. Uh, of course, I'd pay you lots of honey cakes. Really? 
Uh, oh, in that case, I'm your rat. See you tomorrow, rat. I'll start on the fountain first thing, Bernard. Oh, did you say fountain, rat? Oh, that's right, Lulu. I'm building a fountain in Bernard's garden. Oh, I didn't realize you were good with gardens, rat. Well, our garden could do with your help then, rat. And mine too. I'm not sure if I can do everybody's. Of course, we'd give you honey cakes in return. Lots of honey cakes! On second thoughts, a rat's garden makeovers would be happy to help. So you'll uh, finish the fountain today, Rat? I'll have it up in no time. Oh, excellent. Ooh. Oh, this cement is so heavy. Mm. Perhaps I'll dig the hole first. Oh, dear. Well, this garden makeover business is harder than I thought. Hello, Rat. What are you doing in Bernard's backyard? Oh, building a fountain, Bananas. That sounds like fun. Oh, no, Bananas. It's... Oh, oh yes, Bananas. It's so much fun. You really should try it. We'd love to. Please, be my guests. I just need a hole there, Bananas. No problem, Rat. Oh, my. Oh, I can tell by the way you handle those shovels that you've got talent for garden work, Bananas. Do you think so, Rat? Oh, oh most definitely. And, you know, I'm also building a fish pond for Topsy and a pergola for the teddies. That's quite a lot, Rat. Oh, yes. I only wish I could find someone to do all the work. I, I mean, someone to share all the fun with. Why don't we help you, Rat? Oh, what a wonderful idea, Bananas. Now, I just have to uh, uh, go somewhere. So I'll give you all the plans and um, I'll be back uh, very soon. Bye. Hello, Bananas. Have you seen Rat anywhere? You just missed him, Lulu. But we're working with him now, so maybe we can help. Well, it's just that Rat said he'd finish our pergola today and he hasn't even started yet. Don't worry, Lulu. We've got the plans, so we can start building it. Oh, thank you, Bananas. Time for a break from all your hard work, Rat. Rat? I'll hold the post and you hammer. Good thinking, B1. Oh, hello, Bananas. Have you seen Rat anywhere? Not for a while, Topsy, but we're working with him, so maybe we can help. It's just that he promised to finish my fish pond by lunchtime. Lunchtime? Yes, and he hasn't even started. Don't worry, Topsy. We'll get that fish pond built for you. Ah, oh, thank you so much, Bananas. <laughs> Bananas. Let's move the cement closer to where the pond's going. Good thinking, B2. Oopsie. Oh, uh, oh, hello, Bananas. Uh, have you seen Rat anywhere? He said he'd be back soon. Maybe we can help. Uh, well, Bananas, it's just that there's no work happening at my place. Nor mine. I thought you were going to help me, Bananas. Um... Rat did promise to finish my fountain. And our pergola. Uh, don't worry, Bernard and Lulu. We'll be at your places very soon. Oh, oh thank, thank you, you bananas. bananas. We'll have to work very fast, B1. Very, very fast, B2. Come on. <laughs> we're the building Bananas, we hammer and saw. It takes.
cobble dirt, we mix cement, we make things bum and sound. To our surprise, before our eyes, they fall down on the ground. Where the building bananas we hammer and saw, we measure and make. Where the building bananas, whatever the job, we'll do what it takes. We finished everything, B1. So let's go home and have a rest. Oh my goodness! I wanted a fish pond, not a pergola in a hole. All that rat in a hat. Here's your honey cakes, rat. <gasps> I wanted a pergola, not a fountain on stilts. What's this doing here? I wanted a fountain, not a giant fish pond. Where's that rat in the hat? Rat! Wake up! Oh. <laughs> what a pleasant surprise. We want to know what you've done to our gardens, Rat. Your gardens? What did I do to them? Well, instead of a fish pond, I've got a pergola in a hole. And instead of a pergola, I've got a fountain on stilts. And instead of a fountain, I've got a fish pond big enough to swim in. Oh, dear. The bananas must have done it. You can't blame the bananas. You were in charge, Rat, and you left them to do everything on their own. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, would a honey cake help? No, Rat, but you could put my garden back the way it was. And mine as well. Mine too, Rat. But that's going to take a lot of work. We are sure you'll manage. Bye, Bye Rat! Oh, cheese and whiskers. Oh, this is impossible. Hello, Rat. Oh, hello, Bananas. I, I'm very sorry I left you to do all that work. Yes, Rat. That was a bit naughty, but we just came to see if you wanted a hand fixing everything up. You did? We'll only help you if you promise to work too, Rat. I'll work just as hard as you. <laughs> look, look! There's only one problem. What's that, Bananas? If we take out the fish pond, the fountain and the pergola, what are we going to do with them? I don't know, Bananas. Are you thinking what I'm thinking, B1? I think I am, B2. We, we could, could build a new garden. A new garden? But where? That's everything fixed, Lulu. Oh, thank you, Bananas. But what did you do with the fountain? Ah, well, if you join us in the park for afternoon tea, you'll find out. Coming, everyone. Uh, what's this all about, Rat? Ta da! Look, there's the fountain, the pergola, and the fish pond. Oh, so that's where everything went. Yes! And all built by uh, the bananas. With a little help from Rat. Bell B2? That's the bell of Rat's bike, B1. And if Rat's bike is outside, Rat is outside too. Good morning, Rat. Good morning, Bananas. I have a delivery for you. Thank you, Rat. Oh, dear. Oh, my. What's wrong? There are two very tired-looking Bananas here. Where? You. You're the tired-looking Bananas. Bananas? We are? Oh, you look very worn out. We do? But Dr. Rat knows a cure for your tiredness. What you need is a good holiday. Pajama-tastic! I know the perfect holiday for you. Come with me. 
What you need is a camping holiday. Hiking in the crisp mountain air. Hiking? Oh, nothing but the stars above you. Stars? Sitting and singing around the campfire. Oh, it does sound fun, B2. It sounds great fun, B1. And you won't believe it, but I have everything you need. A tent, sleeping bags, backpacks. That is everything we need. And you can have it all for just a few yellow jellies. We'll give you all the jellies we have, Rat. Every single one of them. <laughs> you don't have to do that. But, but if you want to, I won't say no. <laughs> There's so much camping stuff here. We could ask some of our friends to go camping too. An excellent idea, Bananas. To the teddies! <laughs> A camping holiday? Oh, we'd love to go camping, Bananas. But we don't have a tent or anything. Don't you worry about that, Teddies. I have everything you need and more. You do? Oh, and I don't want anything in return. It's all free. Are you sure? Well, uh, perhaps a few spare muffins. Uh, only if you have some, mind. You can have all our muffins, Rat. Really? Well, I won't say no. <laughs> Are you thinking what I'm thinking, B2? I think I am, B1. It's camping time! Are we all ready? We're ready. So let's go camping! We'll have to walk quickly. We must get to the camping ground before it gets dark. Bye-bye, Rat! Have a good holiday. Oh, and thanks for all the jellies and muffins. <laughs> I'm a rat, I'm a rat, I'm a clever, clever rat. <laughs> Cold. Time for this rat to be home with muffins and jelly. <laughs> Here we go. This is where the track starts going up. And keeps going up right to the top. Look at those clouds. Those dark clouds. Dark clouds mean rain. <gasps> If it's going to rain, we should hurry. So we can put up our tent before it starts. It's hard going uphill with these heavy backpacks. We don't find it so hard, Morgan. The higher we go, the easier it gets. It's like we're carrying nothing at all. <laughs> it's coming, Rat. It's coming. <laughs> The big storm, Rat. Oh? Rain, wind, hail. It's going to hit the mountains any time now. What? I went over to tell the bananas and teddies to stay inside, but they're not home. Do tell them if you see them. I'm going home to shut up the house good and tight. My word! Big storm, wind and hail. Oh, dear. And I've sent the bananas and teddies straight into it. Oh, what shall I do? The right thing to do is go after them and warn them. It's not far now. Almost at the camping ground. We should beat the rain, okay? Jamarama! Whoa! up any further. Oh, I'll have to start walking. What's this? Water bottles? Food? I gave these things to the bananas. Well, they'll need all this when they start camping. What's that noise? This calls for a snack. Then we'll put up the tent. Break out the food, bananas. <laughs> What's the matter? The food. There isn't any. Where did it go? The food must have dropped out on the track. Sorry, teddies. Never mind. We'll just have to share what's left. Straight away! Then 
then we can eat, if we can find some food. Tent. Poles. Rope. We just need the instructions on how to put it all together. Oh, there are no instructions. We don't need instructions. It'll be easy. The bananas are right. We can do this. Let's get to it. Turn the rope that way. Pull the pole the other way. Is that you, B2? I think so, B1. Hold on. Look. I think there are the instructions. <laughs> It'd be easy. We didn't need the instructions. Right again, bananas. The rain! Everyone in the tent! Oh, we made it just in time. I've got a leak. Can we move over? Everyone, move. Moving! I've got a leak too. Make that two leaks. Let's move again. Moving! Oh, but I've got the leak again! So have we! There's nowhere without leaks! The wind! It's going to blow away the tent! Everyone hold the tent down! holiday was all my idea. And I'm a rat. I'm a rat. I'm a naughty, naughty rat. Or at least the bananas and teddies are in a nice dry tent. Yes, that tent. Whoa! Oh, if that's the tent, where are the bananas and teddies? What's it doing? So much for our camping holiday. Everything that could have gone wrong has gone wrong. But we are with good friends. And when things go wrong, the best place to be is with friends. But there's one friend who's got some questions to answer. Rat! Rat. He gave us a tent full of holes. He sent us camping in a storm. And gave us packs with holes in them so we lost our food. Rat didn't mean to do that. Rat would never do that. Maybe, but I'm still going to give him a piece of my mind. Bananas! Teddies! Rat! You okay, Rat? What happened? Where do I begin? Rolling rocks, flying tents. Oh, the troubles I've seen. Poor Rat. Free! Oh, thank you. The bananas, Teddies, are you all right? Are you safe? We're fine, Rat. Oh, I'm so pleased to hear that. But it's no thanks to you. I know, but I have something for you. Muffins and jellies. A, a little squashed, but still delicious, I'm sure. pajama rific mm. You think we'll forgive you just for giving us some muffins and jellies? Uh, I also have all the food you dropped. We need something more. More? Uh, I'll give you more muffins and jellies when we get home. There's something else we need. What else is there? Think about it, Rat. Uh, oh. <laughs> oh, silly Rat. I'm so sorry. Will you please forgive me? Oh, that's what we needed. A big sorry. And do you forgive me? We do forgive you, but only just... Oh, goody! What an excellent meal. Well done, Teddies. Now all we need is for someone to do the washing up. We'll do it. You don't have to do it, Bananas. We don't? No, we have a dishwasher with us. Where? Right there. Me? I don't wash dishes. Rats never wash dishes. It's unheard of. Do I have to? Oh, very well then. But you must promise never to tell another soul or my reputation will be ruined. We promise, Rat. 
And we promise too. Uh, see what you've made me do? That looks suits you, Rat. <laughs> you look really handsome. You should wash dishes more often. The cheese and whiskers. <laughs> <laughs>